What's going on everybody? Welcome back to IT Security Labs and today we are going to be attacking a machine called Dodge from TriHackMe. This is going to teach us some offensive security skills and I've been in TriHackMe every day for 38 days now and our goal is to just learn some information security skills. I'm going through the web fundamentals path but today we, we, we're just going to go for a new machine called Dodge. So clicking on it you have to start the machine. They say it takes about four to six minutes. So I started the machine and it's running with my IP address 10109250. Now let's go to my Kali attacker. Here I'll start my open VPN. In this case, I'll just be using my try hack me open VPN connection. Okay, so nmap SV. SC maybe let's do all ports just in case there is hidden ports so this is going to scan for service version use some default scripts and then VV is going to be verbose so I can see it in real time and the IP address that I'm scanning this P dash P is actually going to scan all ports uh, OA I want to output all format and it's going to be full scan all right so coming back here after a little while we notice that we do have a few ports so we have 22 which is open we usually don't interrogate 22 until later if ever then we go to 80 on 80 here i'm looking at the apache 2.441 and that looks a little recent so not not able to google that for now but uh, on 443 it's actually leaking information of the subdomains so this is saving us some time we have dns here touch me not dot dodge dot thm and all these other ones. So our job now is to grab all these D DNS entries. So copy all these. And let's go to our Etsy host. So in our Etsy host, we'll put the IP address that we just got. Then dodge.tryakme and all those DNS entries that showed up in there. So let's actually fix this. Just make sure. Save. So now that we did that, we need to visit every single one of these and make sure that we can see what's on the site. So because visiting the site using the IP address didn't work. So maybe using the fully qualified domain names will work. All right, so permission denied. So we move on to the next one and we move to the next one. This one looks interesting. It says touch me not. So, so all these are just getting denied. Let's view the page source. There's nothing. Okay. So it's just a matter of maybe we keep going. All right. This one seems to be wanting to do something. It says firewall logs at the top there. But I don't see firewall logs here. So this one is doing something interesting. Let's view the page source. So there's a script called firewall.js that is loading. Let's click on that. And let's load it. Okay, I see this script here. So if the response is okay, request is successful. Okay, so this is what's actually checking firewall logs for us. And it's fetching a file called firewall this, whatever this is. So it's on Neotops. So let's put it right here, maybe. All right, we found our firewall. So just looking at the JavaScript that was being loaded, we were able to identify the firewall, whatever that is. So UFW sudo, okay. We can update our UFW firewall here. So what's allowed? 80443. Uh, why are they denying 21? Uh, looks like they don't like 21. Well, we like 21. sudo UFW allow. Is it allow 21? Okay. Let's refresh this and see if it's now allowed. Or did I have... Okay, it's, it's allowed. I thought I had syntax problem. Allowed in. It's, a, it's denied on MPV6, but we don't care. Okay. So that, that means that if we allow 21, we should be able to an, an, an anonymously 
FTP on that IP address then. I mean, I can scan it, but I just allowed it and the firewall told me it's allowed. So I'm going straight to see if I can access it. Anonymous, you no know password. Okay, if I can do it there, no, it's, uh, oh, really? Entering passive, extended passive mode. I should have entered my passive mode. Can I do that? Okay, ls. Okay, I see user.txt here. Get user.txt. Can I get that? Failed to open. Okay. Uh, ls the Shelly. Okay, so we are in the user's home folder. So we can't, well, okay, we cannot get this user because the permissions here. But I sure can get into .ssh or we can steal their bash history. Let's go to, to .ssh because we're hoping there's LS, um, SSH keys in there. All right. Here's an ID underscore RSA and here's a backup. Let's say LA. Okay. Mget star. Um, I don't know what they're asking me, but I just hit enter. Okay, exit. What did I get? Okay, I get authorized key and I also get the backup. So it looks like I cannot uh, get the ISA, but I have the backup, so that's fine. So let's see what this backup is. Okay. Let's make sure that it's on 600. All right. Now, but we don't know the username yet. So hopefully our authorized keys will tell us. Was in authorized keys, it is to tell us who owns the key. And here it says challenger at THM lamp. I don't know, but we take the challenger user for now. So SSH dash I challenger that IP address. Let's say yes. All right. Let's see. Hopefully that works for us. Okay. So, um, Quick recap here, that was a little bit, you know, CTFE to see a backup of the ID underscore RSA with different permissions. But hey, since we we are in now, ls dash LA, we can actually get our user.txt and we come back and we give them the flag. Okay, so now we need to move on to the root flag. How do we get to the root flag? Well, uh, cd search home. Let's see if we can read other people's home directories. Okay, we have Cobra, we have Try Hack Me, we have Ubuntu. Looking at the permissions here, they look pretty standard. Okay. Um, this is our home directory. So I guess we'll start there. Bash history is not being suppressed. So we can see. Oh. Have been running. Hopefully, we, they left plain text passwords. Uh, sudo dash l. Okay. So they were trying to see what they can do as sudo, but they're also opening a setup.php. Oh, that is interesting. And post.php. I like the setup.php, but we don't know. Is it here? ls dash la. No. So find. Okay. So I'm doing a find for INM set up to PHP in suppressing the errors. Because I want to see where that setup file is. And it's in here. Let's open it. Let's. Ooh. We cannot use less on this file. Let's go to it, to the location. And let's actually so this setup is, uh, we don't have the permissions on that, but we have access to the config. 
and we also have the post.php. Okay, so um, what is this? Session username, really, it's a hard coded username, base64 encoded. This is ridiculous, but we'll find it. Okay, so we say from base64. and paste whatever that text was and it says to do list content define really uh, my ssh login cobra and this is password so let's quit switch user cobra i mean we can ssh as cobra but we have a password here all right, so we were able to <laughs> switch user to Cobra after finding the password in a config file that we found in history. Unless the shell a for Cobra, we also have bash history. So let's do the same thing. Okay, sudo dash l. So it looks like Cobra can run apt without any special permissions gta4 bins should tell us if apt is vulnerable and this is sudo so maybe one of these okay sudo such user then apt and then we need to give them the stuff that they have here so once we point to apt we do, we do the update uh, id all right and we got our flag so this is probably the easiest machine other than maybe the part where we find it so as far as learning lessons here easy things are usually what we try to do first but this machine by all means was too easy just encouraging us to hack otherwise thank you for being here and we just got this rooted please subscribe in 2024 we have a lot of cool things coming and i hope to see you in our next videos